Alright, this is going to be a tutorial on how to save a disk as an image. The disk that I'll be using will have multiple partitions on it. It'll have three, two, it'll have the operating system partition, and then another partition as extra storage, and the third partition will be a swap partition. And the operating system that I'll be using is not for the cloning part, but the actual partition, the actual operating system on the source drive is Lubuntu. So let's go ahead and get started here. And I have three hard drives hooked up to this virtual machine. The source drive, which is this one right here, SATA port 0. A virtual external drive, SATA port 1. And the target drive, SATA port 2. I'm going to open up Partition Editor and I'll show you guys how the source drive is split up. Here's the first partition with the operating system on it. The next partition, this does have a file on it, it's got a video file on it so that way I can verify it once the restore is complete. And here's the swap partition. Here's the virtual external hard drive which is already formatted to X2 and it doesn't have anything on it yet and here is the target drive which is formatted to X4 and it doesn't have anything on it either so let's go ahead and get started we'll go ahead and start with saving the disk as an image I'll open up clonezilla here and I'm gonna select device image local device press enter to continue. On this window if you're using a physical external hard drive you want to wait a couple seconds and then hit enter. And right here it's asking where you want the disk image to be stored to. For my case it is SDB1 which is the virtual external drive in my case. So hit enter to continue and select top directory in the local device. Hit enter to continue. Beginner mode. And right here I'll select save disk. It says save local disk as an image. Hit enter. And I will name this Lubuntu. You don't have to name this if you don't want to. Hit enter to continue. And right here it's asking for the source drive. Hit spacebar to select whichever source, whichever drive is your source. For my case it's SDA. So spacebar and enter to continue. And right here select interactively check and repair source file systems before saving and hit enter yes check the saved image to make sure it's restorable hit enter enter are you sure you want to continue yes and right now it's cloning the image well it's saving the image the image that's being saved right now is is the actual first partition the partition that had the, the operating system on it now it's saving the image to that extra partition, the one that was extra storage. In case if you're wondering, it says it up here, device SDA3. Okay, now it's checking the image.
and now it should be checking the second partition, the extra storage one. Hit enter to continue. And now we have our disk image saved, so we're going to go back into Clonezilla and restore that disk image to the target drive. Device image, hit enter. Local device, hit enter to continue. And it's asking where the disk image is stored. So in my case, it's, it's SDB1. Top directory in the local device, hit enter. Enter to continue. Beginner mode. And right here, we're going to select restore disk. Restore an image to local disk. And I'm going to select my image and hit enter. And it's asking for the target drive. So in my case, it's SDC. Enter to continue. Enter once more. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Let me ask you again. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. And now it's restoring the image. And now it's restoring the second partition, the extra storage one. OK, enter to continue. And I'm going to go into this partition editor and check the target drive. Okay, that's the source drive, and here's the target drive, and it looks identical. So we'll go ahead and exit this. And I'll go into my settings and remove the source drive, and I'll remove the virtual external drive, and this CD and now we'll boot from the target drive to make sure everything went fine And as you can see, it booted just fine. So let's log in here. And we'll check and make sure that second partition is also fine. Extra storage. Movies. And there you go. So that's how to save a hard drive as an image using Clonezilla and how to restore that image onto a target drive with multiple partitions. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Rate, comment, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you guys in another tutorial.